This is a recap of The Usual Suspects, a thriller film directed by Bran Singer and written by Christopher McQuarrie. It stars Stephen Baldwin, Gabriel Byrne, Benicio Del Toro, Kevin Kolak, Chaz Palminteri, Pete Pulselthwaite, and Kevin Spacey. If you like the video, please like it, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. Career criminal Dean Keaton lies badly wounded on a ship docked in San Pedro Bay. He is confronted by a mysterious figure he calls Kaiser, who shoots him dead and sets fire to the ship. The next day, the police recover 27 bodies and only two survivors, Arkos Kovash, a Hungarian mobster hospitalized with severe burns, and Roger Verbal Kit, a physically disabled con artist. U.S. Customs agent Dave Kugin flies to Los Angeles from New York City to interrogate Verbal. The men are left alone in a borrowed office belonging to LAPD Police Sergeant Jeff Rabin while FBI agent Jack Baer visits the hospitalized Kovash. The events that led Keaton, Verbal, and their associates onto the ship are then described by Verbal via flashback. Six weeks earlier in New York City, Keaton and Verbal are arrested alongside fellow criminals Michael McManus, Fred Fenster, and Todd Hockney and placed in a police lineup as suspects in a truck hijacking that none of them admits to participating in. Believing the police were unfairly harassing them, McManus proposes they call a heist to get revenge on the NYPD. Trying to go straight, Keegan initially refuses but eventually agrees to help rob a jewel smuggler being escorted by corrupt cops, netting millions in emeralds and getting over 50 cops arrested after leaking their activities to the press. They then go to California to fence the jewels through a man named Redfoot, who connects them with another jewel heist, but it goes badly and the contents are instead revealed to be China White, synthetic heroin. The men learn that the job was arranged by a lawyer named Kobayashi, who says he arranged for their arrests in New York and that his employer, mysterious Turkish crime lord Kaiser Sozai, from whom each of the men has unwittingly stolen, has ordered them to raid a ship holding Argentinian drug dealers and destroy $91 million worth of cocaine being sold on board. The cash brought for the exchange will be their reward. During Tugin's interrogation, he learns that there was no cocaine on the ship, and so Zai was seen on board. At the hospital, Bear learns that Kovex has seen so Zai and has a sketch artist begin making a picture. Verbal then tells Tugin a legend about so Zai. He was a small time drug runner who murdered his own family when they were being held hostage by Hungarian mobsters, then massacred the mobsters and their families before disappearing and from then on conducted business only indirectly through underlings who are mostly unfamiliar with their true employer Sozai thus became a fearsome urban legend, a spook story that criminals tell their kids at night. Concluding his story, Verbal reveals that Fenster was killed after trying to flee, the men then threatened Kobayashi, only to accept the assignment when he threatened their loved ones. The men attacked the ship during the night, killing several Argentinian and Hungarian gangsters before discovering that there was no cocaine. An unseen assailant killed Hockney, McManus, Keaton, and a prisoner in one of the ship's cabins. The mysterious figure then set fire to the ship as Verbal looked on from a hiding place on the dock. Kugin deduces that Keaton must be Sozai as the prisoner killed on the ship was Arturo Marquez, a smuggler who escaped prosecution by claiming that he could identify Sozai Marquez was represented by lawyer Edie Finneran, Keaton's girlfriend, who was recently murdered. Kugin claims that the Argentinians took Marquez to sell him to Sozai as Hungarian rivals. Keaton then used the assault so that he could kill Marquez personally and fake his own death. Verbal finally confesses that Keaton had been behind everything, but refuses to testify in court. Verbal's bail is posted, and he is released. Moments later, Kugin realizes Verbal seemingly fabricated his entire story, improvising on the spot by piecing together details from random items in Rabin's cluttered office. Verbal walks outside, gradually losing his limp and flexing his supposedly disabled hand. As Kugin pursues Verbal, a fax arrives at the police station with the artist's facial composite of Sozai, the picture resembles Verbal, revealing that he was Sozai the entire time Sozai enters a car driven by Kobayashi and leaves, 
moments before Kyujin arrives on the scene. A voiceover from Sozai is then heard from when he spoke to Kyujin earlier, saying the greatest trick the devil ever called was convincing the world he didn't exist, and like that, he's gone. 